Hey guys, it's D. What the fuck is up? Or whatever. Today, we're gonna be doing my hair. I mean, like, it never changes around here, okay? I say I'm gonna upload new content and then I don't, and then I come back with a hair video. This is the same thing, okay? It's the same cycle. You've been here a while, you already know. So, let me tell you what happened, okay? Because in my last hair video, this was very bright, very bright, blonde, correct? Like, I did that. I did that. If you have not seen my last bleaching video, watch it. I did that, okay, at home. And like that has to go down in history because I have never had such a successful hair bleaching experience throughout my entire hair bleaching experience. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna explain why it's no longer platinum, okay? Don't judge me. I went to the hair salon. Okay. Shut up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I went to the hair salon. Okay. Because, look, I've been really missing, like, a blowout. Like, just that feeling of the soft silkiness that you get when you get your hair done at a hair salon. I was really missing that. Okay. I'm tired of the flat iron. I'm tired. Of... I'm just tired. So, I was like, you know what? Let me get that luxurious silkiness that I'm missing, right? So I went to the hair salon and my roots were growing out a little bit too. So I was like, you know what? Might as well get my roots done as well. And then the darker part as well, I had to re-dye this black because I have blonde under, so it fades, right? So it was fading. So I asked her, I was like, hey, can you um, just re-dye this section black and, you know, touch up my roots, right? So that's exactly what she did. And one reason why I do not like getting my hair bleached in a hair salon is because I like to put coconut oil in my hair here for my scalp. My scalp is like very sensitive. So I always put coconut oil. I was afraid that going to the hair salon, I would have to sit in like pain and just itchiness, irritation. I don't know what type of bleach they have in that establishment, but it's real good, okay? Because nothing, I didn't feel nothing. No itchiness, no irritation, nothing. I was sitting on that chair like, is this real bleach? Is this real bleach? Yes. So the whole, the whole thing was going fine. But what had happened was that I requested a hair treatment, you know, because my hair, we know that it's, you know, she's been going through things. I mean, she's actually not that bad. Remember when my curls like were non-existent? Like remember when all my curls look like this? Well, this is the bleach, so this is how. But remember my whole head looked like this at one point? Yeah, well, she don't look like that no more, okay? So that's for all you people telling me to shave my head and start over. I'm not shaving shit. While it was sitting in my hair, the dark freaking dye bled into the blonde. I should mention that this hair treatment said like Brazilian blot or something on it. It was definitely more of like a salon type thing. Whereas I'm used to using hair treatments with natural ingredients like the one that I'm going to use in this video. So yeah. So like this is not purple hair dye. This is like the it bled into the blonde, right? So at first it actually looked kind of blue. Right, it looked kind of blue, and she even requested, like, she even told me she's like, I can take it out for you. Like, I said, I was like, No, girl, it's fine. Listen, I have been there for like three hours already. I, for like three hours already, I was like, No, it's okay. Like, I could work with it. It's fine. Like, I've dyed my hair crazy colors before, so it didn't really bother me. But then, you know, after a few days or whatever, I washed my hair. It was just the, it was like a really dull blue. Like, it just didn't, it, and you know, my experience with blue. If you've seen that, you know my experience with Blue. Blue and me, we be beefing sometimes. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? So I was not like, okay, you know what? Let me let me fix it. it actually, didn't look too bad though. I'm gonna insert a nice little video. It actually, didn't look too bad. I was I was fucking with it for a little bit. But now I'm just at the point where I would like it to be that bright blonde that I had it before. I had it like that before I want it back. I did some research and 
I'm gonna try out a few things in this video to see if I can get it off. So I, I learned you need like lemon juice and like Dawn dish soap and stuff. And we're gonna try that out, okay? To see if I can get back this beautiful lusciousness. And it's gonna make my hair very dry. So I did invest in, um, in um, I looked up Dominican hair treatment in, on Amazon because whenever I got my hair done and they would put the, the treatments on, and girl, my hair, wow. Like the experience was 10 out of 10. We're gonna do all the craziness. We're gonna put this on my hair and we're just gonna hope for the best. All right, got my dying t-shirt on. I sectioned off my hair, as you can see. And we have my rainbow bowls. Remember, remember these? Do you remember these? If you don't remember these, you must be new here, and if you're new here, you better click that subscribe button because I ain't playing no games. But Amazon, okay. And we got my rainbow. Um, what are these called? Brushes, tint brushes. I'm not All right, so so for my first ingredient, I got head and shoulders. It will make your hair dye bleed faster. So we're using this, okay? I don't have the liquid Dawn dish soap. We stopped buying those because we use the spray now. So I have the liquid and hopefully this will do what it's supposed to do. And then you need lemon juice. So I got me a whole lemon. I'm gonna make the concoction, put it in here. And we're gonna get to work. And they won't be ready. So this is the shampoo. And then I'm gonna do this next and the lemon juice. I'm just eyeballing this. I don't really know how much to put in. I'm gonna use the whole thing. It smells really good. Okay, it's all mixed, it's like super watery. And I think I'm gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes. All right, this is after the first session. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can tell that it's definitely lifting a little more. Um, so I am gonna try this again. I do just now remember that your hair, like they recommend your hair being damp actually. So I'm gonna re-wet it and do this process again. So I still have, I still have my concoction. I'm gonna wet my head. I'm gonna put it on and I'm not gonna record it this time so I don't want this video to be too long, you know? So I'm gonna re-wet it, put it on and give it another 15, 20 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so she's not perfect, right? She's not perfect, but I really did not want to bleach my hair anymore. Like, you know, the already bleached parts. I don't want to ruin my hair any more than it already is. So we're gonna stick with this color. I am going to bleach these sections though. There were a few sections um, that she bleached where um they weren't like as processed so i'm just gonna go over these sections for a little bit nothing too crazy just to brighten them up a little bit more um same with over here obviously not the black pieces but anything that's been like you see how this is like super bleached up here and it's darker down here yeah we're gonna we're gonna fix that and that's that's about it Okay, so I ended up bleaching my hair. I ended up bleaching those parts, but I had a good reason, okay? It was because of the parts that I was lifting, they had those that darkish area as well. So some strands got mixed into that, you know, and then I saw that it was lifting and I liked the lift. So I was, yeah, I bleached. But you see that? I'm like, that's blowing me. That's what I wanted. That's what I want. So you know what? I'm happy with the decision that I've made. I've laid out my bed. I've made my bed and I'm gonna lie in it. So I showered and I have the um I have the treatment I have the treatment in. It recommends for me to leave it in for like 15 minutes with hot like blow dry. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. 
I'm gonna wash that out and then I'm gonna be right back. First things first, I eat your brains, then I'm gonna start working gold teeth that time. Okay, my hair smells so freaking good right now. Like, get it, okay? Get it. My hair, I don't remember the last time it smelled this good. It smells so freaking good. Um, but basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna comb it out, I'm gonna dry it a little bit, nothing too harsh. Yeah, that's basically it. This is what my hair looks like before brushing it. There's some strands here that aren't fully bleached, but that's because I was freaking out because I started putting it up here and I was like, oh wait, is it gonna over process? My hair's gonna break off, so yeah, but I kind of like it. I, I like it better than the last shade it was. So yeah, I'm gonna brush this out. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so this is the finished look or whatever. I know I wasn't doing much with my hair in this video, but I made it very clear that all I wanted was to get that color out and bring it back to this beautiful, luscious platinum blonde that I had before. And I accomplished it and that's all that matters. Period. I'm pulling like a Zoom call right now because from here up, I'm looking like... And then you go down a little bit, I got my PJs on. Um, if you like the jewelry that I'm wearing, check out my shop please i really appreciate it virtual hex girl yes i got the ball chain and the earrings okay i have like a lot of pieces but if you just go on the website you'll see so much more that i was working on so yeah if you like any of these pieces please check out the link in the description okay excuse me Ooh. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I do plan on making a try-on haul for like dressy, um, maybe like dinner date type stuff. I don't really have a lot of those types of clothing in my closet. I have more stuff like this. Um, so I'm gonna do that try-on haul for like dressy stuff. And if you would like to see um, of what I have in my closet type video, let me know and I will like put outfits together so you guys can see. Uh, I really wanna start getting into like fashion type videos because I've always wanted to but like I've never had the confidence to do so and I'm just at a point in my life where I'm very happy and like I'm very confident like I don't look at myself in the mirror and hate what I see anymore it is a fabulous feeling so if you would like to see a closet video let me know and I will do that for you thanks so much for watching I hope you'll be here again soon. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. I really appreciate that. And hope to see you next time. Bye.